Welcome back to part two of The Beat. Now, this week sees the release of two films made in Hong Kong by our next guest, The Killer and Hard Boiled. Welcome to director John Wu. Hello, John. Hi. Oh, yes, thank now, you. Now, um, you've directed many kung fu films during the 1970s. Um, your big box office hit was A Better Tomorrow, came in 1986. If we can begin by talking about Hard Boiled, can you give us um, a rough idea about the story, what the film's about? Well, for the idea for uh, making hard boy, because a few years ago, uh, the crime in Hong Kong seems to be out of control. There are a lot of violence, and you know, uh, the gangster the, and the robber are sh shooting crazy on the street, and the uh, and, uh, police force was pretty weak, and uh, they are all so depressed about that, and couldn't do anything about it. So that's why it made me. I was so angry about it, and uh, so I uh, uh, intends to to create a new kind of hero, like uh, Dirty Harry, uh, who can uh, uh, stand for the justice and also uh, fight for the righteousness. Um, and try to give the police force and the Hong Kong people some kind of encouragement. And uh, even though the, uh, the world is so misery, uh, but we still have a new hope. And so that's why in a movie, I, uh, I was uh, use a, a baby in, uh, for the final scene. And uh, a baby who, uh, which uh, represent a new, new life, a new hope. About two and a half years ago, since my, my uh, uh, since a lot of studio they pay so much attention on my uh, on my movie, The Killer, and they uh, also uh, very much interest uh, uh, to ask me to uh, to make the American film. They all wanted me to. Uh, uh, bring my own style into the American film. Uh, but I find, uh, and I have uh, received over 40 scripts, and, and I find, uh, and I find out the uh, hard target was the better one. And at, at that time, Song Cloud Van Damme and uh, the producer, Mr. Jim Jack, Nina Jacobson, and a scriptwriter, they all flew to Hong Kong to see me. And uh, they, uh, they really like my work. They, they really, uh, want me to do this project, so that's why I took this. This is, um, I understand that this is the first time that an Asian director has worked in Hollywood, you know, directed a film. Did you have much interference from the studio, or did they let you get on with it? Well, uh, since uh, this is my first American movie and I didn't have the uh, script approval, so, um, and um, the Hollywood system is uh, it's just, confused me uh, that there were too many people getting involved in the project. Um, um, and I, I uh, in Hollywood, uh, 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 everything got to based on the budget. So that's why I couldn't do any big change uh, for the script. All, all I can do is uh, uh, keep my style and uh, do a little touch or a little change for, uh, in the script. But uh, I still got a great support from the studio, from the uh, uh, producers and the filmmakers there. So, and the whole crew, they worked much, much, much harder for me.